A steady stream of cool lake water pours over rocks at Lake Itasca State Park in northern Minnesota. John Utner from Michigan visited this place as a child and now brings his children. I wanted my kids to do the same exact thing. So 40 years later, here I am with my kids about a little bit older than I was. More than half a million people a year come to see it. To tiptoe over the rocks or on a log across the Mississippi River. The rocks mark its headwaters, Lake Itasca on the left, which spills into the Mississippi. These rocks define the beginning of the river, and right behind me is the mighty Mississippi as it's raging down its the, channel to the Gulf of Mexico. The mighty Mississippi, right. Yeah, right the here. mighty Mississippi. We <laughs> call it the mighty Mississippi, even if it's a baby. Connie Cox has served as the park naturalist for a quarter of a century. What exactly defines the headwaters? What defines the headwaters is a separation between the source of its water and where the river begins, but the surface flow and volume needs to be continual year round. About a quarter mile downstream, under the first auto bridge crossing the river, the rushing sound becomes a whisper. An extreme drought grips this part of Minnesota, but the lake, fed by springs, pours water into the Mississippi every day of the year. The river actually briefly flows north from the park before eventually curving east and then south. Through Minnesota, the river's path confuses the newcomer as it snakes through grassy, marshy areas, sometimes disguising its channel. Where it looks almost like the curlicue on a cupcake that it's winding and meandering from bank to bank. Part of the poetry of this place is knowing what the river becomes on its 2,300 mile journey to the Gulf of Mexico. Just a simple little place and then all of a sudden, you know, it's a major thoroughfare. Consider this is a river that goes on to drain 41% of the country, but it starts in this creek-like foot deep, barely a bayou waterway in northern Minnesota. In this natural spot, maintenance crews must daily fight nature just a bit. Beaver every morning are trying to dam up the Mississippi River. They're trying to hold back Lake Itasca. Exactly where the Mississippi begins generated controversy in the early 19th century. Finally, in 1832, a geologist named Henry Schoolcraft sought the help of the area's indigenous people. I always say, you know what, why don't you just ask directions of the locals? He did. He asked directions of the Ojibwa people that lived here. And it was good he did because they are the ones who had identified the river's course. They named it the Mississippi. Lake Itasca, a source of pride for Minnesotans and fun for road warriors. And you can brag, I walked across the Mississippi <laughs> without a bridge. John Snell, Fox 8 Local First.